right guys so for this tutorial you're going to need your beads of choice as well as some cording make sure that the circumference of the cording will fit through the bead holes of the beads that you chose so I got these from Michaels I think they're like eight dollars a pack but they're on sale so I got a deal and yeah so as you can see I got two packs so all you're gonna want to do is Go ahead and open up those packs and take your beads off. So mine came with five beads per pack. So in total, I have 10 pretty crystal beads. So once you are done opening both packs, what you're going to want to do is take your cording and I'm going to take the raw ends of the cord, so the two ends that are cut basically and I'm going to stretch my cording out so that it fits around my neck as well as has some space on the ends because we are going to tie a knot when we're done or basically like a bow so after you cut your cording you're just going to go ahead and thread it through the holes on the top of your beads so each of the beads has two holes on top and two on the bottom so like I said I'm just going to go ahead and thread the top holes right now so once you have threaded all of your beads on the top holes you're just going to want to go ahead and try your best to get all of the beads into the middle of the cord and once you think they are centered well enough you can go ahead and tie a knot on one end and that'll just help you um, keep your beads basically in the middle of the cording without them moving back and forth and once you're done tying this knot you're just gonna go ahead and thread your second string into the bottom loops of your beads so like I said before each of the beads has two holes and you're just gonna take your cording and thread it through all of them and once you are done threading that you can go ahead and tie another knot and this is just gonna help ensure that your beads stay in the middle of the cording. And this is what it looks like, isn't it so pretty? So you guys, we're basically done. Next thing, I'm just gonna go ahead and take those loose ends and tie a knot, and then I'm going to tie another knot because we don't want it to come out. And then you're just gonna tie a knot with the two ends together, and you're gonna do that to both sides and you guys seriously that is it it literally took me like five minutes and now you have a beautiful choker slash bracelet slash anklet it's called an anklet right or ankle bracelet whatever you want to call it so yeah thank you guys so much for watching